How to create 3D NFT animated cards First, there was a single card To create a collection from it, we need two things The first one is card content, that is what is displayed on the card The second one is different visual variations Meaning the look of the card, its material or the background of the scene, you get the idea. Those two together create a unique combination. And that's what everybody wants. Remember when you get back to school after Christmas and one of your classmates had the same backpack as yours? It was a spear, horrible. Shame. No NFT collector wants to feel like you back then. So everybody can create a single still image of their NFT card. So to get higher interest of collectors, we need to add something extra, the animation. Let's start with different visual variations. The card will have four different types. Common, rare, epic, legend, wait for it, dairy. Each type will have a slightly different shape and also three different shades of the same color. Then we have a background with five different types. Fire, water, earth, metal, and Wood. The content for cards will be my collection of sober Jedi's that were born in one of the previous videos. To generate unique combinations, I will use Raptor plugin. To set up the cards for generation, I will start with the common type. So let's just pick that one. We will first rename the collection to FX Mat. So this way we are indicating that this collection or this trade will have the material randomization. Then let's select a card, go to its materials, and I will add a new one. That one we will name also in a special way, so it's gonna be FX slot, then any number that we want. So I will start with number one, underscore, and it's gonna be common one. So this is actually the very first slot that gets assigned to the whole card, and that's why it's the very first one that we named a slot. Uh, we also will give it a base color, so as it's just a common one, we will just leave it with this kind of shades of gray. So let's go with some darker gray. Obviously, we can also see that here in the uh, shading viewport. We said that we're going to have three shades for the common. So I'm going to add a new material like this. Then we will click on the name of it and rename it to FX. This time it's going to be in one so those two numbers have to match so first we created a slot and now we are creating the materials that will kind of be randomized to that slot later on so underscore and we're gonna name it common two and this one will get also a base color but this time it's gonna be uh, darker right so all the way yeah to this place so of course uh, in here we so far just see the slot and uh, we're gonna add another one. That's the third one new and it's gonna be fx in one underscore common three right and let's change its base color to even darker one So this one is almost black Like that. So we have three shades for our common card and lastly, let's also add the card content So let's create the new material this one we will name card content. This is not any special name that would uh, somehow be included in the randomization and that's exactly what we want. So we'll just keep it a card content. That's just a very normal name. Then we will switch from base color to the image texture. In here, let's click on open. And in here we have this Sober Jedi collection. So let's press A to select everything and click on open image. Then select the card, tap to get to the edit mode. Make sure that you have the face selection over here and select just that front face. Then pick the card content material over here and click on assign. And you can see that we got that texture already working, uh, but it's somehow looking really strange. So first of all, what we're going to do is scroll down and click on auto refresh. And then we will switch to UV editing. Let's zoom in. And in here on the upper bar, we're just going to select the shading viewport make sure that you have the face selection over here click on that front face right click choose the uv unwrap faces and pick the unwrap this way we got it already kind of fixed you can see that this front face on the card got unwrap in here to the uv editing map editor so having that face over here selected 
press G, X, and now let's just move that face so the Sober Jedi is in the middle. Let's go back to layout and I will just show you exactly what is happening over here as it's the image sequence and we also turn on the auto refresh with now moving the animation frame from one to another we can see immediately that the card content is now being yes ready on our cards isn't that cool if you have a look at the materials of the rare card we can see that it's pretty similar to the common one because we can see the fx slot uh, but now it's rare uh, and there's just actually number two behind the um, slot or the in uh, special keyword and otherwise uh, we have three types of the shades and then the card content that was again assigned uh, to the front face so it's basically the same so this is how it looks for the epic card and last this is the legendary card the backgrounds are normal trade collections, so we don't need to name them in any special way. So we got the attribute of cards and the background ready. And now we'll dive into the Retro Max generator. And the first thing we're gonna do is click on Analyzing button. And this one finds all the attributes and their traits. We can see that we got all the fire, water, earth, metal, wood backgrounds. So there are five of them as well as all the other materials that we set up for the card. So we can see three type of common, three rare and three epic, and of course, three legendary materials that are ready for the randomization. Then we can also see the maximum number of combinations, which is 60 in our case. So if you combine all these attributes, uh, the card and the backgrounds, we get 60 possible combinations. So that's pretty much all we had to do before degeneration. Of course, we can play with rarities and you know um, set the rarities for each of the trade. But for now, we are good with just leaving the default numbers. So let's generate the combinations. The generation process of combinations is done. Now, when I move the frame number here in the timeline, I can see the combinations that got generated. We can see the change of the background as well as the type card, but the shades of the frame is not changing here in the viewport and that's just because of technical limitations of blender the materials got randomized so to see them we'll scroll all the way down in the router plugin to render settings here we can see the file format that is set to png and also the output file path to change those we're gonna go to output properties and you find the output section first of all we're gonna change the output file path so that's gonna be over here I will pick the desired folder and click on accept. If you want different file format, we can change it over here, but I'm okay with the PNGs. So let's get back to Raptor. Now you can see that we got the output file path change and we are ready to custom render. So we got all 60 card rendered and we can also see different shades of the frame for each type of the card. That was the part that everyone can do, but with animations, it's slightly more complicated. Let's add the animation to the card. I'm here in just normal collection, shift A, and we're gonna add the empty plane axis. I'm gonna rename it to card animation. Now let's pick the card itself. Then we'll go to the object properties, relations, and we'll set a parent. The parent of it's gonna be the card animation. And that's exactly the plane axis. I will click on the border and also give it the same parent. So it's gonna be the card animation. And the reason we did that is because if I choose the card animation plane axis and rotate it, the card itself will also rotate with it. I will pull my timeline up a little bit make sure that we have that card animation selected we're gonna move to the frame number one then find the rotation of the z axis and give it a minus 15 and then i'm gonna press this little dot over here to create a freeze keyframe then let's move to frame 31 in here i will create another keyframe that's gonna be with the rotation of number 15. you can see that the card just filled to the other side Let's just click on this rectangle and now we got the first part of the animation loop so the card just moves from the one side to the other and now we want that card to move right back so in that way we're going to create the loop so i'm just going to pick that first keyframe like this Control c to copy it and then we'll change the frame number to 61 and then press Control v to paste it you can see that the card just kind of tilt to 
the uh, very uh, original position as it was. We're gonna also change the French frame to 61. And now we'll just check the, yes, the animation loop. So you can see that it's kind of moving from one side to the other in the loop. So what got animated was just the plane axis that we added as a cut animation. So now when I'm gonna go to the other card, the rare one, let's pick the card and just set it parent to card animation. The same will do with the border again, card animation. And now if I just let the timeline goes, we can see that the rare card now got animated. So now you can see the benefits of just having one place of the animation then just attach other objects to it. So that's the way you can save a lot of time. Because we added the animation to cards, we also have to tell that to the Rathri plugin. So let's just scroll down and find the animation settings. So the animation loop ended at the frame 61. So that's exactly the number we're gonna put in here. So let's just type 61 in there and let's generate. The Raptor Max version actually supports animations, so for mesh object collections, it works perfectly. But with the image sequence texture, meaning the card content, it will do this. As I move the frame number, we can see that the card is now being animated. That's just one combination over there. And the background also stays the same. And now the card just is moving back to its original position in the loop. But what you could probably see is that the image sequence texture, the card content is just being changed for every frame. If I reach a new combination, so in here we got the earth and also the new card, we still can see that the image sequence or the card content is just changing for every frame still. So what we want is to have that one single texture in the sequence to stay there for the entire loop. Meaning that this sober Jedi with a blue background should stay there for all the frames until it reaches a new combination. I'm currently at the frame number 60. If I move to 61, we can see that the combination changed because there is a new background as well as the type of the card. And we know that the animation started from frame number one. And that means that this Sober Jedi with the blue background should stay there from 1 all the way to frame number 60. So I wrote a little Python script that duplicates each texture in the sequence as many times as the frame length of the animation. So each Jedi got copied 60 times to match the length of the animation loop of each combination. Now let's add the image sequence that was generated by the Python script. Pick the card, go to its materials, then find the card content material in here. We're just going to click on this folder icon, then navigate to the folder with the generated images, A, and open image. So now if we move the frame number, we can see that the server Jedi stays there for the entire animation loop of one combination. And as soon as we move to another combination, we can see that there is a new server Jedi and it stays there for the entire loop. To render each animated combination as MP4 video format, let's go to output properties. In here we will switch from file format to the FFmpeg video, then we'll roll out the encoding and then change the container to MPEG4. Let's get back to Raptor plugin, scroll all the way down to render settings. You can see the file format got changed from PNG to MPEG4, then hit the custom render. And these are the final renders of our card animated collection. As usual, you can find all the links to download the files down in the description. Smash the like button and subscribe, create, inspire, and have fun. Tongue is out.